Something really exciting that got revealed like yesterday is this new Target exclusive 2-pack featuring Superman and Doomsday. This one is a $60 2-pack. Normally 2-packs from DC Multiverse are $40, $39.99. This one is going to be 60 smackaroos because Doomsday here is a mega figure. So they're including a mega figure in with a regular size Superman. Now look at what you get here. You get a couple of extra hands with Superman. You get the Doomsday Mega figure. And of course you get the boilerplate additions of the trading card as well as the base. And that, that about sums it up. Now I guess one of the things I'm wondering here is, is this going to be like uh, an actual $60 value package? Because uh, it kind of looks like Doomsday is huge, but how huge is he compared to other mega figures? I wonder, I wonder. Now, if we remember from a while ago, there was a Superman and I think it was Devastator 2-pack that came out early on in DC Multiverse history. Is that action figure, that Devastator, like a smaller action figure than Doomsday, or is it about the same size? But from the look of things here, we are getting this Superman. This is based on the infected Superman that we've already seen from DC Multiverse. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the Superman that was included with the merciless wave of collect-to-build action figures. And they've been using this body ever since early 2021. Very early 2021. And it's not my favorite Superman body, but I, I think it looks pretty okay here. $60 for this. I think this is actually kind of worth it, especially if you don't have an infected Superman yet. Because I, I do like what we're seeing here. It looks a little bit like the Hush Superman that was exclusive on McFarlane Toys uh, store website. I think that that's being re-released here. I need to get a better look at Superman's face to really say one way or the other, but it does look a lot like Hush Superman at first glance here. Since I don't already have that, I am more inclined to get this, and I have to believe that a lot of other people feel the same way. And of course, Doomsday is just all new. This this really is an awesome two-pack, I have to admit. This is nice. Um, still not the hugest fan of the infected Superman body, but all things considered, nice nice two pack now if we look at these guys we can see that uh, doomsday obviously has single jointed knees and elbows look at the size of doomsday compared to superman my goodness he is like one and a half figures tall compared to superman <laughs> he really towers over superman over here now if we zoom up close we can really see the sculpting detail on this obviously it looks like his uh, hands over here. I think that's his wrist articulation. That's the cut for it right there. And then, of course, there's the elbow swivel over in there. Um, I do see a jaw joint in here, so it looks like we can open and close Doomsday's jaw. That is really, really solid. I absolutely love that, dude. And, God, it's gonna be so good to get him in, like, some screaming poses and stuff where he's duking it out with Superman. Oh, I absolutely love this. Look at those little details on his boots, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a lot of little spikes here. These look like they're really going to hurt when you're handling them. <laughs> oh, man. It kind of looks like uh, this is a whole knee swivel on this, doesn't it? Yeah, it kind of does. The swivel kind of looks like it's built into the calf rather than into the thigh, so I'm not sure what kind of swivel it's going to have. There's what Superman looks like up close. All right, you know... You get him posed up a little bit. I think that he does look a lot nicer. We see a lot of damage on this one. I think those might actually be um, painted elements instead of sculpted elements, which is not my favorite thing. I really wish when we saw things like that that they'd be more sculpted. We're getting a better look at Superman's head sculpt over here, so this is definitely not the same head sculpt that we saw with Superman on McFarlane Toy Store's website on the Hush Superman release. That is, that has regular eyes, he's just really, really angry. Also, he's got like a snarling mouth, and that's decidedly different. And then we see like his uh, mouth, it kind of looks like his mouth might be bleeding a little bit. And also, looking at Doomsday here, I do notice that we're seeing some uh, curious articulation on his wrist. Because it looks like, instead of like the back and forth like you would expect on wrist joints, it looks like it goes like up and down, because look at that joint there. 
it's on the it's on the front and back rather than the side and it looks like it's the same deal over on its other hand i have to believe it's like that because doomsday um has all those spikes in the way so they're probably doing that to give him a little bit more movement than he would if they had made it like uh side to side yeah you could turn the wrist on these and still post them very uh adequately so i think that it still works well enough and I think that'll give him a little bit more movement than we've experienced on some Mega Figures. I think that overall, this is probably one of the best Superman-related releases that we've ever seen. Because, well, we're finally building Superman's rogues gallery a little bit, right? And we're seeing a lot more Superman releases recently. Now, I still wish that they would do an entirely new Superman. And this uh, hush, re well, not hush, this infected Superman body... We keep seeing it, and it's, it's, it's okay, but I would like to see something new and improved. I actually kind of like the Ultraman body that they came up with for the Crime Syndicate wave. A lot of people don't like that one because the ab looks a little awkward, but I do remember reviewing that one and being more impressed with it than I thought I would be. I thought that I was going to tear into it because the ab looks so... I don't know, awkward and goofy, but when I played around with it, it actually worked pretty nicely, so I couldn't really be mad at it. Love the look of his hands, love the look of him when he's uh, posed up a little bit. Definitely with some of these more awkward DC Multiverse releases, they look better when they're posed up a little as opposed to just standing static. Almost, almost always. But of course, then there's these action figures like Doomsday where... He looks just dandy standing all by his lonesome, because look at that. What a monster. God, look at the sculpt on that. You can really just feel the texture just by looking at him. Oh, what a feast of it. God. You just know that this one, when you play with it, guys, is going to hurt to handle. Kind of looks like his arms have a pretty good amount of range, too, because look at this. Like, you can bend his elbows, and it looks like they go to about a right angle. That's really, really good considering all the texture that they're putting on him and, of course, all the all the rocky spikes and everything that would possibly get in the way. Now, I guess uh, the real test here is how is he going to be when we finally try to move him around a little bit? I don't know. We're going to have to just wait and find out on that. But right now, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed by what I'm seeing. And I'll also say that I don't see these knee joints being really really versatile i see them having just a single joint and then you're going to be able to twist this leg uh around in a circle but i don't know that it's going to be particularly useful articulation as opposed to having the joint up in the upper leg so that you can like twist the calf from side to side like we did with the dark knight returns joker and we did with um clayface and a host of other mega figure releases I will wait to see, but I have a funny feeling that we might not love these knee joints. It does look like he shares the same kind of ankle joint as Bane, though. These look decidedly like Marvel Legends-style ankle joints, which I think is fine because the ankle joints on Bane worked pretty well. They were a little difficult under his weight, though, especially when you were trying to like balance him while he was breaking Batman's back. So I don't know how Doomsday's ankle joints are going to fare in that regard, but uh, hopefully it'll be good. One other thing that appears to be curious to me about Doomsday here is that he's gotten, he's got a torso rocker, right? I can see the cut for it right there. And the reason I say that's unusual is because a lot of McFarlane Toys mega figures of late for probably the past year or so have not really had much in the way of any kind of torso cut. They've all been really static in one piece, and this is such a departure from that that I'm surprised. Because when I saw Doomsday revealed in a Target ad, I thought that it would just be another static torso, but it doesn't appear to be that way. It looks like, just based on this picture, that he's got the ability to like twist and bend down a little bit. So, I appreciate the versatility. So, him having that torso rocker there might offset any issues we might have with the knees just by the mere fact that it exists and it gives us a little bit more versatility another thing that i do find exciting and also curious is that he appears to have like the sort of butterfly joints 
I guess you would call them. I don't know that they're necessarily like butterfly joints, but uh, that's kind of what I think of them as because it's got that little socket in there that's got the piece that follows the shoulder joint around and it gives them a little bit more mobility in the shoulders. And I, I enjoy that being there because I feel like Doomsday is going to be able to do a lot more with his articulation and uh, getting some pretty cool poses where he's punching Superman or uh, picking another character up or just beating up the Justice League in general, whatever the case. I really like this release. Still a little bit skeptical about the knee joints, but overall very pleased with what I'm seeing. And for $60, I, I think this is going to be um, a yes for me. I'm, I'm interested. This is a Target exclusive, by the way. Uh, if you guys want to get this one, you got to go on Target to get it. I don't know about other countries, so... Um, I don't know what to tell you there if you happen to live outside of America, but in America you can pre-order this at Target's website. Um, I imagine for other countries you can just uh, go to the website and they'll direct you to the corresponding store where you can buy this one. What we see here is a lot of great sculpting on Doomsday, right? So no, no bone to pick with the sculpting. Part of the thing about Doomsday is that in the comic books, Doomsday is like a darker gray on his body, right? And I think that something this figure could use is more of a paint job on his general body. Uh, like a gray uh, that makes him a shade darker so that all of his bony parts uh, stand out in regards to contrast. I think there's going to be a single release of Doomsday eventually. And I think they're going to repaint this one. And they're probably going to do it with that dark gray that we're just talking about here to make him look like he's got a little bit more contrast on his skin. Because it seems really obvious that they should do that. They do that and they've pretty much got a picture-perfect Doomsday action figure. Definitely. So this is the Superman Devastator 2-pack that was released a while ago. We're pulling this up just for reference so that we can get a better idea of what we're looking at with Superman Doomsday. Let's see here. Are we seeing things that are like the same as, say, this Doomsday over here? I, I guess I do see some similarities here and there. I need to see things from another angle. The hands look very similar. Yeah, this is what they look like standing side by side. So. The height difference between Superman and the Devastator here is not particularly large. I gotta say that, yeah, we are seeing similar joints on the Devastator, we are seeing similar hands. Alright, I think that those are the same arms, yep, those are the same arms, guys. Those are the same arms as the Devastator. Okay, yes, looking at Superman right here. Yes, the battle damage on this is definitely painted. There's some scuffs painted on his shoulder, on his bicep. There's the little tear right there that's just painted on his costume. A little scuff right there painted. Uh, some more scuffs that are painted on his boots and stuff. It's all paint and deco as far as the scuffs go. And though, there's a little bit of blood on his uh, lip and chin and his head. Um, I like some of, the, some of the deco. I think the tears over here are a little lackluster. Uh, those, those tears don't look all that great, I don't think. And without a doubt, those arms are very much the same. He's got the same arms. You can see, like, the cloth over here from the Devastator. Uh, obviously, it's painted a different color. It's all gray over here. It's blue. Well, it's dark blue over here. Excuse me. It's like a dark teal color over here. Bam, bam. You can see it on both arms there. I don't know about, like, the wrappings on the arms. Maybe if they, maybe if they had done something else with that. I, I don't know. Because the wrappings, uh, you know, they add little details like that. It makes it look like a very singular design, you know what I mean? Uh, where it, uh, it, when you add specific things like that, it makes it very specific to a certain character. Now, you could argue that maybe they should be painted green. Because the do Doomsday in the Death and Return of Superman tears through his suit as he's battling ju Justice League and he's battling all these superheroes. So it wouldn't be... And, and as he's fighting, he's gradually tearing through the suit that, he la that he's in when he lands on Earth. Because initially, when he comes to Earth, he's like uh, trapped inside of this green suit where he's been just bound floating in space for however long. 
So it wouldn't be out of the ordinary for him to have slight, have some like green rags on his arm from where his uh, suit was. Like this is pretty decent reuse, I think, because um, a lot of stuff is being retooled to the point where you can't really tell where where a lot of it is being reused versus where it is being reused. The most obvious reuse on this one, I'm gonna say, is just the arms. And if that's the case, then all right, I think that we got ourselves a pretty good W here. Uh, all things considered, I do think that Doomsday looks pretty proportional, so this works. Like I said, the, some of the scuffs that we see on this costuming here, I, it could be done a little bit better. Because whenever you see a tear like that, it really needs to be a relief element. Maybe if they just added, maybe if they just glued a little bit something on, it would have added that little bit extra texture. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That's what he looks like up close. Oh, take a look at that, fam. Oh, God. I think that the lower torso on him might be might be reused, too. Okay. Yeah, there's some mo that's, that's another piece that I think is being reused. But other than that, I think that most of it is new. I'd say, like, a good 70% of Doomsday is new. New, or at the very least, like, retooled uh, very heavily. Bro, look at that head sculpt. It's horrifying. God, that's really good. Oh my god, that's like one of the best head sculpts I've seen recently. Look at those eyes, man. Oh! Look at his little, look at his stone beard too. His little, uh, uh, jagged beard. 